Di and I met... We, I better explain this. I mean, Di, you were expected a woman to come out, didn't you? <laughs> Di is D-A-I and it's for David. We met in radio the other day. That's right. And you did that, you did that trick that I thought was fantastic and I'm still trying to work it out. What and I, I've that? told the studio audience to watch very closely. Watch this closely and you tell me how you think it's being done. All right, watch closely at home too and see if you can pick it. This is your coin trick. Oh. If your I silver have... coin trick. Oh, that's with the American half dollar? The American half dollar, oh, right. Well, well, as I told you, <clears throat> if I put that in my hand and turned my hand over and had it disappear, There'd only be one solution that went up my sleeve, right. or it had a string attached to it or something. Now, but if I put it in your hand and it disappeared, that would be a different thing. Now, you hold, just, just the you, camera are see. you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Well, hold it, close your hand tight and put it down this way. Now, I naturally hold, keep it on the table. On the table. Now, naturally, I can't get it. There's no possible way I can do that unless no. I use some subterfuge of some kind. Now, when I was in Sydney about six years ago, I got this kangaroo penny. See, it's got a kangaroo on it. Because mm -hmm. they don't have any you of get those. get a close-up of that? I just wanted to... They don't have any that. of those back in the States with the kangaroo and the queen on this side. Oh. Now, I discovered a very funny thing. If you put the queen up, nothing happens if you put the queen up. But if you put the kangaroo up and do this, it jumps into your hand and I have the half dollar. And you have the kangaroo. See if you've got the kangaroo. Have you got it? <laughs> no, isn't that fantastic? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I thought I knew what was happening in my whole hand all the time. Can anyone pick what he did? There? Well, you relaxed for a little while. That was all. I was, I, well, I was watching. <laughs> could any, could, seriously, could anyone here pick? Could you, did you get a chance to watch closely enough? Well, I'm still trying to work well, out what he did. Tricks tricks, you know. There's always some dodge attached to it. Yeah, I know, but when people are alerted to the fact that there's going to be a trick and they're watching for the trick, they can sometimes pick it. Oh, can well. anybody suggest oh. what he might have done? <laughs> he wanted me to do just, this. Just a moment, just, just a sec. What, what do you think? He must have two pennies or two one um, no. <laughs> coins from the America so he can swap them and you keep the other one in your hand. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, <laughs> I did see, or I thought I saw, him putting the silver coin in my hand. And I don't think he did a swap. Maybe he did. Well, I cheated. I'm naturally. still trying to work that out. Okay, now you wanted me to do this pancake trick, right? The pancake trick. Well, this is this is uh, done. You feel my hands. At my age, they're very dry. Right. I missed the, my 86th birthday because I was crossing the international date line coming from Hollywood on the plane. So I had no birthday this year. So that's a pretty way, good way to cheat, isn't it? Yeah. You're, you're like Philip Brady. Philip Brady was 40 last year, and he's 39 this year. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, anyway, this is, this is, feel how dry my hand is. There's nothing sticky right. on there, right. and there's nothing, nothing wrong with these cards. Right. Now, I'll do this, I'm going to do this very slowly. I want you to see if you can see how this is done. I'll arrange the cards here like a little pancake. No maple syrup on it, just a plain pancake out of plain cards. Now, this is one of the exercises you have to take if you want to practice some card tricks, I mean better card tricks. You, you make a pancake like that, you see. Now, you turn it over and you do that. Now, you see the ring, there's no connection with the ring. There are no threads or rubber bands or elastics or anything. Is there any sticky the tape card, on the No sticky. Cards. Uh, pull one out halfway, any card you like, halfway. Just put, you pull it, you feel, push it back. Pull any one back, you'll feel a tension on the card. Do you feel it? Yes. Now, look, I want you to be sure there's nothing on the cards, nothing on my hands. That's just an exercise. That's not a trick, but I mean, it's... Oh, that's just for practice. <laughs> that's just for practice. That's right. That's right. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know, the other day I asked you what you look for when you're trying to judge a champion magician, and you said that the trick isn't... the magician's trick isn't necessarily the most important thing, that presentation and the personality of the magician was very important. It's like you. What? Like you. If you didn't have the personality and the rapport with the audience, they wouldn't like you. You've got to have... You have to be liked by the people who watch you. I mean, especially a magician. If a magician is high hat or is conceited or autocratic, people don't like to be fooled. They hate him and they hate everything he does. But what was it about Loris's well, act that you judged to well, be? Well, don't you think she's a charming girl? Well, it's in the a first beautiful place? act and she's a lovely girl, yes. <laughs> and she does everything in a, a nice way, not flaunting her 
skill in front of the audience, but just presenting it for their entertainment, which is the thing to do, as you do. I mean, you're not, uh, you're, you're trying to entertain the people and amuse no, them, and that's the I important thing, and then they like you. If you. But if you try to lord it over them, they won't like it. And that's just as important for a magician. That's impo more important very, very interesting piece of advice. Right. Anyway, Di Vernon, have a good trip back to the United States. Just remember, you've got to cross the international date line the other way, so you're going to, oh, I, uh, you're going to be a year <laughs> older when you get home. Well, thank you. Di Vernon.